Hello, my name is Nathan, otherwise known as the Old Man, and I'm going to show you today how to build this motor for on my 3D print. On these parts here, I'm going to attach the motors, and I'm going to set the magnets and show you how to pull them. If you like what you see today, please like and subscribe. Thank you. Okay, today we're going to build a uh, motor core. I just wanted to show you how it's done. This one I already had uh, pre-assembled on here with the uh, plastic right here. I attached it to the motor. I'll go ahead and show you real quick uh, this right here. This is what it looks like when it comes off your 3D printer. Okay, it's got the holes in it for the uh, motor itself right here. Okay, and just to let you know, each one of the uh, actual bolts here are 10 millimeters long. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put them in the holes here. They're all big enough to fit it without uh, having to mess around, which is a good thing. And all you have to do is take your Allen key here, and we're gonna go ahead and just line this up. Okay, once it's lined up. Now just so you're aware before I attach this, there's a center hole here, as you can see. So the top of the motor has this little pin. So this one's kind of ground down, but most of them stick up a little more. So I allowed for that in the uh, SPL file when I built it. So we'll just attach this real quick. This is the easy part. Uh, you know, I'm sure most of you can do it in your sleep. So anyway, I'll just attach this here, make sure we put the bolts in the right spot, and we should be good to go. If you get these motors here, uh, you'll have no problem with the bolts uh, lining up. Uh, if you get any other motors, you may have to go in and pull the file and change it uh, to address those things. Uh, as usual, I'll leave the SCL file in the description. So, here we go, we almost got this together. Now this is the easy part, like I said. Uh, the hard part's going to be when you start playing with magnets. Uh, these are Neo Neogenium uh, 52s. So, they're knuckle breakers, is what I like to call them. They hurt, so make sure you align them correctly in there first when you attach everything, or else they're going to slip out and start whacking your fingers, and then you may end up with a broken finger. Uh, so anyway, here's what it looks like. Attach that in there. Here's the core. It's got a little uh, piece on the end here for an inset. So it goes in the little square here in the center. So we set it right in there. It's the first thing we do. And we're going to take our magnet here. Okay. Let's take our magnet tester. And we're just going to check the poles. Okay. What we're looking for is to get a uh, negative pole on the outside on all of them. And then with these, they're actually pulled on the top and the bottom as well. So if you're looking to do something more than just a uh, you know motor core or something else and you want to use that energy, it's available to you. So the energy field goes like this all the way around. Okay, just so you guys are aware of that. So we'll take a look. We'll start with the sides here. And I'll do it so you can see it. We're looking for north. And we got a south. That means the other north is right here. And there it is. Now, when you're doing these, okay, I like to just go like this. No, it's south. These are my two main poles on my side of my fingers now. Okay. I've identified that. And we'll check that's our north. Okay. So, check it one last time. That's our north. Both. So now, where are we at? Okay. You can glue that in if you want. It all depends on how long you're going to have this thing together. I didn't glue it in because I'm just putting it together for you guys here before I test. So, now that we look at it, north is here. North is here. Okay take another magnet, I keep them on the side one at a time. 
these things suck. They'll start attaching to everything. The table under this is metal. So they start leaning that way. Let's do it again. North. There's the south. We're pulled both ways. That's my north. That's my north there. So right here is exactly where I want to put it in. Now right now, right now, they are forcing against each other. i got two poles that don't like each other right there. Okay? So they don't like each other already. So let's go on to the next one. This is where it gets fun. Okay? We'll set this right here. Okay? Set it somewhere where I ain't jumping. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and try to just set this on here so that I can test this without this jumping anywhere. Okay? Just leave that kind of loose in there as long as it holds. We got half of our motor core together. Let's go ahead and take a look again. We are south. We are north. We are north. So, this is the way we want to orientate it. Right here. And there it goes. <coughs> I'm a big guy, you know, and I'm telling you, these things suck to pull apart. You have to try to get this bottom part in this slot, and then we'll just double check our poles. Okay. Get that bottom piece in there, get that top piece in there. Okay, we are sliding in. Okay. Now we got one more to go. This is the one we just did. Let's just double check it. North. Oh, sorry. North. North. And north again. Okay. Now, fun part. And our last magnet. Okay. All right. Go that south, that's north, that's north. Again, that's north, so we orientate this way, straight in. Now, <laughs> this is the funnest one, okay? It will not want to go in. I don't know if you can see that force is pushing against there, but it, it doesn't want to be there. Now, 
it says on here there's a negative. Usually the black wire is always negative, so that's where it goes in right there. Okay? Make sure when you start these things that you always have this turned down, or else it won't set up in the motor right and it won't run. Okay, now we want to set up our ESC. Okay, this is very simple. You got two power cables here. Okay, you got a black and a red. That's pretty self-explanatory. Usually the dotted line on any one of these uh, that comes out, and you'll see it, I'll take a picture for you. Uh, the dotted line is usually the uh, positive, and then the non-dotted line is usually the negative. Sometimes it's reversed. It's not going to hurt anything to switch them, okay, if it's not right on yours. Okay, the three wires. Basically, you can hook the three wires up to three parts of the motor in any configuration, okay. Put them in there, run it. If it's going the wrong way, take any of the two wires here, okay, and just reverse them, okay. So here we go, here's our three wires, okay, here's the colors, and we have red, blue, and black. Now if I want this motor reversed, I can take the black and change it to red, okay, and then obviously you put the red on the black, that would change it, or I could take the blue on the red. It doesn't matter, just change two of them in any way you want and it'll reverse the motor. Do you have to run both motors when running this? Well, the answer is no. I run one. The other one uh, works as a generator and it'll give you some data on it, uh, on what it's pulling just on its own. It's not very good as a generator by all means, but uh, I like putting both on there because it stabilizes it between two points. You saw how hard this was to put in. You say, well, you know, you can put some bolts in there. Well, you can, okay, and, I, and I've tried that. Uh, not as easy as you think. This right here with pressure is probably the best way to do it. Uh, so when you put it in, just make sure you allow for that. But this has to have constant pressure so these stay in here. Uh, I had a case where I didn't do that. And well, I had one of these fly across the room and snap in half. So, but this is, uh, this is the core here. And, uh, like I said, I'll leave some still shots in there so you guys can see some of this. Uh, maybe I'll just build it in as part of the video. Anyway, that's it. Uh, and I'll also leave the stuff on this right here a little, a little closer so you can take a look. Okay? Thank you guys for watching. All right, this right here is our motor core right here. Uh, both parts. Okay? Uh, they would be uh, labeled separately in the STL files. Uh, and just to show you uh, kind of what we're looking at here. I'll move this one out of the way. We'll take a look. All it is is basically the, the room for the magnets, as you probably have seen already, that we got those in there and they're pretty tight. Okay, you have the build out for your motor here, and in the center you see the hole here so that uh, that little post can come on through. So the other part here you can see we have the little tabs on each side okay so that it sits right inside right here in the center they're built together so they're built to fit sometimes you might have to take a little sandpaper on them and touch them up just a little bit to get them to slide in you don't want them loose okay so that's why i did it that way uh also just to show you a couple other things that i worked on uh and other projects and I'll link the videos at the end and uh, also the uh, files here I did the thruster right here and you can see all the different parts here I built originally the uh, bottom with the little circles then we built it into a teardrop shape and then uh, more of an oval shape for one and then this right here, the center doubled up the uh, wire that goes through here. And then on the top, we just went crazy and put a whole bunch in there. Cool project. Uh, you can look at another thing. Here's one of my upcoming projects here. I uh, am building a little UFO. Okay. So you can see it's kind of cool. I'm trying to get all the uh, power to run right down the center. Build out the frame. So... Anyway, that'll be in one of the future projects here, but this center core is what you guys are looking at today. Uh, I'll leave the STL file so you guys can build it. I'll leave the description of the magnet as well. So 
Okay, so you're probably wondering what's the next project after building this core. Well, I'm going to design a uh, generator uh, to go around it, the, the coils and stuff for it. What we got here is I got a roll of 20 AWG wire, okay, so 20 gauge wire, okay. I have a second roll right here. I'm going to show two poles, two green, two red, so it's easy and how to wire it. Make it easy for you at home if you want to do this project as well. I'll also go to the SGL file and I'll show you exactly how to build this thing. I also got one other thing. As you can see behind me, I do 3D printers as well. And uh, so just show you, I got some magnet wire for the filament. This one right here. And what I plan to do is put that inside the, uh, the building of the generator. So we're going to find out if we can amplify this a little bit. We're also going to do it in ABS. We we'll want to see the differences between the two and to see if it's worth it to actually buy the more expensive uh, filament here. So anyway, that's our next project. I'll uh, put it up here as soon as I can. And it should go pretty well. It seems pretty fun. Everybody likes to see how far distance of a magnet goes. And they also want to know if you put a magnet on the outside after you build the generator, will it amplify it? Well, stay tuned to find out on the next video. Thank you very much and have a great day.